Hello everyone and good morning. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. So today we're going to start with a reading. Here we have three cards. We have the Hermit, the Lovers, and the Strength card. So pick the card that resonates the most with you. Do you feel like a hermit waiting in his shell, just contemplating the right time to strike and just put forth all of his energy and shine bright? Or do you feel like the lovers? You're romantically in love, you're floating through the air, nothing can stop you, you're high above the sky, above everyone else, and they're just watching in all your glory. Or do you feel like the mighty lion, a strength card? Do you feel like you have so much power, you possess so much power, and sometimes you really don't even know what to do with it? Sometimes you're just like, I have all this power, but these people want me to do just such mundane things, but I am, I am, I am capable of so much more. Do you feel like the Hermit, the Lovers, or the Strength card? All right, so let's get into it. The first reading will be for those who chose the Hermit card. Spirit, I ask that you cleanse this deck of any negative intentions, any negative energies. Alexa, stop. I ask that you clear this. Oh my gosh. Alexa, stop. I ask that you cleanse this deck of any past readings, any past energies, any past spirits. Cleanse this deck of any past energies, any past spirits, any past intentions and energies. Spirit, universe, please tell us. What is in store for the hermits? What is in store for a mighty tortoise? Spirit, please tell us what is in store for those who chose for those who chose the hermit. So let's get into it. Bam. All right, we've got the Son of Pentacles. Ooh, more Pentacles. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, and then we've got the Eight of Wands, honey. Spirit, please give us more context. Ooh, we got the Daughter of Wands in reverse. And then we've got the Seven of Cups. Okay, so let's see. What I'm seeing is a sudden, swift movement. And this movement has something to do with money. I'm seeing there is a potential money move. There is some type of opportunity that can afford you some money, honey. There will be an opportunity coming your way. And from this opportunity, you can gr you can gain a lot of prosperity. It could be something financial. It could be something, um, something beneficial to you. So whether or not that's a, a new love, a new friendship, there's something that's coming your way. And the opportunity for you to gain from it is going to be monumental. It's going to be beneficial to you, honey. Spirit, please give us more context. What is this opportunity about? Okay. Okay. I'm seeing emotions. Ooh, honey. We've got the Seven of Swords. Okay, honey. What's that? What's going on here? Somebody's hiding. Somebody's trying to be sly. Okay. Okay. So be wary. There might be someone who sees this opportunity coming for you as well. Uh, honey, they're not happy about it. They're going to try and block this blessing, okay? But there's hope. We have the star card. We have hope. We have blessings. We have the empress, honey. Okay, this is a divine blessing. So even though this person is here and they are not liking that your blessing is coming, this is a divine blessing, okay? This is from nature. This is from mother herself. This is from the stars, okay? This is aligned in the stars. There is hope, okay? There is nothing that can stop this blessing from coming your way. But just know that even though this is a blessing, there's someone in your circle, honey, who's not going to be happy about this blessing, okay? They can't do anything to stop it, okay? They can 
can be mad. That's all that that's all they can do. They can be mad about it and that's it, but they can't stop it, okay? But just be wary of this person. Know that everyone in your circle is not for you. Not you know, not all the time, you know? Sometimes we grow out of friendships, sometimes we grow apart, sometimes friends actually become jealous of your blessings, okay? So just be wary of this person. Be wary of your surroundings. Be wary of who's watching and clocking your blessings, okay? Because not everyone is you know cheering in your squad some people are like well how come that that's happening to them it's not happening to me i've been doing xyz and it, you know so be very wary of people who are jealous people who are kind of like they feel like they need to be in competition with you right they're supposed to be friends but they feel like they're competing with you yes honey friendship someone in your circle honey someone in your circle be very wary. Know who your true friends are, okay? Know who your true friends are and know who's really just kind of like a acquaintance. Someone who's just kind of like, not even really like a friend. They're just like a, what's the word? Um, you're just cordial, you know? They they come around, they smile, they say all these nice things, but we do it all the time, like we're human, right? We saw all these nice things go, we go to work, and like, oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, you, you share personal things, girl, whatever, but it doesn't mean that you're friends with this person. Just because you work with them, it doesn't mean that they're your friends. So it might be even something at work, maybe a promotion, maybe a raise. Don't be so swift to kind of like share all your blessings with someone who's in the same field as you because they're not always going to be happy for you sometimes these people are going to be jealous because they are kind of like in competition with you right they're trying to strive for the same type of success in the same field the same position right so be very careful who you share your blessing with all right so that's what we have for the hermit please let me know in the comments if this reading resonated with you and if, if it didn't, that's okay. You know, this reading is for a large amount of people. Spirit, I ask that you cleanse this deck of any past readings, any past intentions, any past energies. I ask that you wipe it clean. Let us start with a new slate. I ask that you rinse every card of any past intention, any past reading, any past energy. Spirit, please... Release these cards from any past readings, any past energies. Let us start anew. Let us start with a new clean slate. Okay, so next up are those who chose the lover's card. Spirit, please tell us what's in store for the lovers. For other lovers in the world, Spirit, please tell us what's in store. What blessings are coming their way? What might, might they need to take heed of? What do the lovers need to know? And bam, let's go. All right, we've got the six of wands. There's a So there's a journey coming to an end. There's a rainbow at the end of the journey. There's a struggle coming to an end. We've got the empress. We've got nature. We've got power. We've got divinity. And we've got the seven of pentacles, more blessings. We got the father of wands, protection. And then we've got the five of cups. There is something for the lovers here. I'm going to ask for more context in a second, but there is something definitely coming to an end, baby. You've been struggling, okay? You've been in the down. Things have not been going your way, but know that there is a blessing coming. This journey will pass. This this thing here, it will pass. It's coming to an end, baby. And when it comes to an end, you will see the rainbow, okay? It's not for nothing. What you've been going through is not for nothing. Just hold on because your blessing is coming, okay? And it's coming in abundance, okay? And this thing has really had you down. This thing has really had you down. It's really had you feeling down, sad, maybe even depressed, feeling like you're stuck. You have no options. Nothing's just working for you. That's coming to an end, okay? This is coming to an end, okay? Know that your blessing is coming, and it's coming in abundance, okay? Spirit, please give us more context. Seven of Cups, Son of Swords, And then we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, I'm seeing determination. I'm seeing 
Seven of Wands, Father of Wands, Son of Swords. Mm, more Wands, wow. Six of Wands. Okay, so in this struggle, I'm seeing some type of strong-headed opinion. Um, there is some type of like stuck thought, a determined thought, um, some type of like mental pattern or mental behavior here. And it's just been stuck with you. And it's been like a driving force in how you feel. And I'm seeing here that I feel like in this journey, maybe this is like an emotional journey. Maybe this is like a mental journey. Um, maybe you've been depressed. Maybe you've kind of been like in a negative thought pattern. And what I'm seeing here is that this is, this is coming to an end. This thought pattern is coming to an end. And when it does end, your blessings will be there waiting for you. Okay, so we have to stop thinking negative. Father of Swords. Okay. We've got a Father of Swords and a Father of Wands. And we've got a lot of male energy here. We've got the Son of Swords. So what I'm seeing here, I'm seeing a, a determined, kind of like a stubborn person or like a stubborn behavior. I'm seeing a protective behavior. And then I'm kind of seeing like a, kind of like a stoic energy. Someone who is very wise, very knowledgeable, right? And they're kind of like a... Maybe like a father figure. Maybe um, kind of like a, what's the word? A patriarch, right? Someone who is kind of like the, the head hold, um, the head of the household, kind of like a head figure in charge. So maybe it's either a stuck, a stuck pattern of uh, negative thinking that has to do with this person. Maybe this is something that was taught to you. Or maybe this is something like you have a negative thought pattern around a specific individual. You know, it's time to let things go. It's time to move on. It's time to heal and forgive. And I saw this the other day, like forgiving someone doesn't necessarily mean that you um, like in order to forgive someone. You don't need like you don't have to you don't need their blessing. You don't need to, to speak to them. You don't that you have you don't there's nothing you have to do with that person. You don't have to forgive what they did. You don't have to let let it go what they did, you know? You don't have to um pretend like it never happened. Forgiveness is really within yourself. It has nothing to do with the other person, right? Forgiving them doesn't make their day any brighter. It you know, forgiveness is all within yourself. It's for you. It's really not for them. So maybe it's time for you to forgive someone. And again, like that, that even saying it, it sounds like, you know, you're kind of like lessening what that person did to you, but you're really not. You're taking back your power. You're forgiving what they did. You, you don't necessarily have to forgive the person, but you're forgiving the action so that you can expand and grow and move on and claim your power, you know? So if this reading resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. And if it didn't, that's okay. This is for a large group of people. So take some things that stick with you and the other things that don't, just let it go. Dear Spirit, please cleanse this deck of any past readings, any past energies, any past intentions. Let us wipe this slate clean. Oh my gosh. Let us wipe this slate this slate clean. Let us start anew. Let us start over brand new squeaky clean. Take all of the negative energy, all of the past intentions, all of the past energies, the past readings. Take all of that away from these cards and let us start a new spirit. We are cleansing this deck for a brand new reading for a brand new group of people who want to know what is in store for them. So this next reading is for the people who chose. Oh my gosh. It was the hermit, the lovers, and... Oh my gosh, I can't remember. Who was it? The strength card. Yes, the mighty lion. How could I forget? This reading is for those who chose the strength card, the mighty lion, the king of the jungle. 
Master of Revolution. Okay, and bam. We've got the Nine of Wands. We're ascending. Ooh, we've got the Two of Wands direction. Which direction are you going in? Are you sure you're on the right path? And then we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Blessings, money. Opportunity. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Ooh, something is destined for you, honey. This is, ooh. For those who chose the Strength card, we are dealing with some... This is like a major, like... You've been questioning this whole thing probably your whole life. Like, this is your life's question, honey, okay? This is, spirit is trying to address your life's purpose, okay? And then we've got the seven of wands, beacon of hope. Okay, seven of pentacles. We've got the nine of swords. And then we've got the daughter of swords. Okay, so what I'm seeing here... Is spirit wants you to know specifically to not question your journey. Do not question your purpose. Know that you are on the right path and you're doing everything exactly how it needs to be done, honey. Don't change the formula, okay? Do not change the formula. Do not worry. Do not have any anxiety. Do not, because, girl, it's working. Whatever you're doing is working, okay? It's all working. And really, like, there's nothing that you have to change, you're, you've been putting in a lot of work and honey, it's paying off. Don't change the formula. Don't stray away now. Don't back out now. Keep going forward. Don't, you know, don't start getting scared now. Like you're about to reach your blessings, okay? Do not back away. We've got the seven of swords. We've got the nine of cups. And then we've got judgment. Know that whoever has, like, tried to stop your blessing, anyone who's ever tried to stand in your way, anyone who's ever tried to feed doubt into your mind, you don't have to address them, honey. Because what is destined for you is so predestined, it is so divine, that karma is already working on their end, okay? They, are, they might be saying, oh, that'll never happen for you. You'll never be good at this. You're stupid. Like, why would you even, why would you even think that's possible? Like, you're doing it the wrong way. Know that they're saying that because their life is in shambles, honey. Like, karma is feeding them some good raw beef, okay? And they're eating it up and they are sick, okay? Know that whatever is meant for you, no one can touch this. It's almost like the first reading for the um for the hermit crab, okay? The hermit crab, oh gosh, the hermit. Nothing that they're doing, nothing that they're saying can stop you. Really, the only thing that can change your course is your own negative talk. So don't do that. Know that everything is working, okay? Know that everything is working and anything that is going against you, girl, God is already handling it, okay? Like, you are you are, you are, are blessed and highly favored, okay? Anything that they throw at you, girl, God takes it back and says, uh-uh, I didn't give you permission to, the, to do that. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch what's mine. So know that there's nothing that you have to do because you have, like, you have, like, ancestors. You have um, people up above who are, like, watching over you and they are making sure that nothing gets in the way of your blessing because you deserve this. Like, you really deserve this, okay? Know that you've been doing all the work and that this blessing is so, like... It's just meant for you. Like, if, if there's anything in this world that was meant for you, it's this. Like, this spirit is telling you that what's coming is meant for you. And don't let anyone kind of, like, deter you from knowing that. From from putting in the work of obtaining your um blessing, you know? This is meant for you. And don't come away from that. Don't let anyone steal your blessing, really. Because if they talk you out of it, they stole your blessing, you know? It doesn't have to necessarily go to them, but if they manage to talk you out of it to make you even like doubt it and choose something else, they've altered your path. They've altered your 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 destiny, you know, and that's stealing your blessing. They stole your blessing because they've altered your destiny. Do not let anyone alter your destiny. Stay on your path. Stay doing what you're doing and knowing that what you're doing is correct. You know what's correct for you. And honey, spirit is saying, yes, yes, yes. Like tens across the board. Like this is for you. There is nothing that needs to change. Do not change the formula. Duh. Very loud and very clear. Okay, guys, I have to go. But I hope you enjoyed this reading. I really hope that you were able to take away something um, positive from this reading. Um, if anything resonated with you, 
resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. And if it didn't, that's okay. Um, until, until next time, thank you for watching. This is Simi Hayes Creations.